Now, in a previous episode of Stranded, I had made it a goal right before I had logged off to get the raw engine upgrade for vehicles. Basically, it's a diesel engine that you can put into larger vehicles. It gives you more power, but it's a lot slower. So I came up with this idea. Instead of just building a vehicle to ram off the edge and just hopefully knock off the object, I just wanted to build something like a crane. But as I was building things like this, I found out that the cranes, uh, the longer they get, are really janky and they, they start freaking out. I don't know what it is, the objects colliding with each other get kind of weird. Now on top of that, when you add so many objects, especially with the amount of pistons I have, you essentially, ooh, okay, there we go. You essentially make this thing heavy in all direct. And plus, if you don't put on an engine, it makes it like really weak. And as you can see here, I added so many pistons to extend the arm, just kind of like what a real crane would do. But because the weight was so un evenly distributed, I found that I needed to add some kind of counterweight to it. And with the objects building closer to the limit in the game, I came up with a pretty good solution. So I kind of came up with this idea that I would build basically like a Ultron kind of vehicle setup where the crane couldn't take any more weight and it was falling all over the place. So I built a vehicle that acted as a counterweight. Hence this vehicle right here. It has a giant rail on the back of it, which if I place it just correctly underneath the crane, there's a set of magnets right underneath this crane right here. It's those three green magnets. And if I hop inside this crane, I can lower myself onto this truck with all the counterweight on it. Now all I gotta do is just flip on the magnet. All right, so I got the magnet going. Now I just gotta lower it onto the vehicle with the railing and just do it slowly. Oh, sticky keys, shit. Okay, once I take the legs completely off, now the crane is on top of the counterweight vehicle and I had to add some stabilization for this vehicle. So to make this work, gotta spread out the legs for this vehicle. That way it doesn't whip side to side. And of course I could take it slowly to the edge of this cliff here. And then I added the parking brakes right underneath the vehicle so it doesn't slide back and forth. Now all I gotta do is enter the crane and try to lift the diesel engine. Ooh, shit. Now, as you can see, because of all those separate weights on the arm, it's difficult to, uh, to maneuver. Now, currently, the crane is locked with pistons on the side here to keep it from swaying back and forth because all the weight just likes to swing all over the place. And I'm using a propeller uh, engine underneath to help me sway side to side. So let's see if I can get this thing to work. I believe Q will deactivate the magnets underneath me, so I got to remember how to activate the other. There it is. Okay, so the magnet at the end of the crane is on. I is to extend, I think. Oh, okay, it's not doing it. Oh, shit! Oh, okay, something did break. Oh, it's the side. The side broke. Holy crap. Crap, crap, crap. Okay, okay. We're trying to counter the spin. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, shit. You can do this. You can do this. All right, so the crane brakes are stopping this thing from moving. So I got to lower the crane brakes. And I think I'm about to... Oh, nope. We still have just enough. I want to pull it back, but I'm afraid if I pull it back too much, it's going to just freak freak out. So let's see here. Okay, that's leaning forward. Oh, okay, we're pulling back. We're pulling back. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, the arm broke. Oh, no. Crap. So all in all, the Ultron kind of design for the vehicle was very ambitious. That would make a pretty interesting... Uh, vehicle to return to later on for maybe bigger more stable cranes but in my head I was like you know what I'm just gonna put it all in one so I did that instead okay so here's the said crane um, now as you can see it's a remodel from the bog uh, monster that I have with the giant pincers I just took the giant pincers off and I added this extending arm or unfolding arm it's not extending uh, because the hydraulics or the pistons add some really weird uh, extra weight when it's fully extended but that makes sense though because it's just reaching further out and therefore all the weights being thrown to one side so I added a bunch of weights in the back of the bed here and I added some weights on the side or the back end here some tires on the side of the other existing tires for more stabilizations on the side and then I added a parking brake which you could see those four weights at the bottom basically when I get into position I could just throw down the parking brake uh, and that way this vehicle doesn't go insane. There's a magnet at the end of it still because I still wanted to keep with the uh, with the crane situation. But all you have to do is just park it on the end here and unfold the arm, turn on the magnet, and I should be able to rake it in. It may be still too heavy for me to fully have control 
over where it goes but my goal is to get it on the other side here and then move it over here all right the sun just risen so it is a new day let's go ahead take the parking brake off and see if we can get this new upgrade slowly getting in position for the vehicle start the arms turn on the magnet and we're gonna have to do a bit of a scooting motion oh maybe not maybe this thing's got it oh shoot i think i'm slightly too far away Come. Oh, we got it with a little bouncing maneuver. I'm going to take the parking brake off. Now we're going to try to lift it as we're moving back. Holy smokes, I can't believe it's working. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, that's a win in my book. We got it over here with the crane. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, darn it. Okay, new strategy. For some reason, the the silverfish here isn't picking it up. I mean, I got it to pick up some pretty heavy crap before, so I don't understand why it's not working. So, we're just gonna take the bog beast. Oh my gosh, why do I gotta make things so complicated? Oh, I think I wedged it a little bit. Yeah, there we go. There we go, there we go. All right, all right, all right. Oh, whoa, whoa. Did it break the arm? It, oh my gosh. Okay, third time's a charm. We got it loaded. I might have to upgrade this vehicle. And maybe the raw engine's the way to go, baby. Oh yeah. All right, sweet. Let's do some upgrades real quick. Okay, so I'm working on some of the upgrades for this vehicle. I already add the raw engine, but I just realized that I have this uh, this underwater propeller here, and I don't think I really need it anymore. I think before I thought I needed it for the shallow water, but then, yeah, come to think of it, I don't think I could use it. I can't remember. Actually, you know what? Shoot. Let's go test this real quick, because I remember all these, all these bo uh, buoys here. Maybe we'll keep it uh, above water. We'll see. All right, so normally I would do these kind of builds in a time-lapse fashion, but recently my computer hasn't been handling the time-lapse videos very well. Uh, I guess it's just too much information to try to speed up at once. Plus it takes like hours to render the whole video. So I just went ahead and just made the vehicle and just show you the finished product. You can see here, this is the original Hercules Beetle vehicle. And I went ahead and I made an XL version. I haven't come up with a complete name for it yet, but as you can see, the pincers are much longer, they're wider, so they're able to pick up larger boulders now of material it's also slightly taller and the body is wider with a rib cage extending up to hold either more stuff or larger scrap so the reason why it had to be spread out a little bit wider because it became so much more top heavy as it got taller so i went ahead and opened it up a little bit and that allow it to uh on turns not tip over as much so even though it looks kind of awkward now it's it's kind of weird i don't know how to really explain it but for the moment, this is what I'm sticking to, and I think I'm gonna test it on a boulder in the very back here that I saw earlier. I think it was a like a tail fin for an airplane craft or some sort. Also, the newer vehicle has one diesel engine built into it, so the heavier loads are no problem for it now. It still has some of the go-kart motors to kind of give it that startup speed, but the diesel motor is there for the power. So we're gonna jump in and test it out on the boulder just to see how it works. All right, so far, so good. It hasn't flung out the back yet, so I think this was a pretty uh, successful uh, build here. So, again, I don't think this uh, machine fares well with smaller debris, but we're going to take a look at it. Alright, so it looks like I got most of the small material out of the way in this area. So we're going to go through this. Alright, it made it through the river. Now, I think the other vehicle would have not been able to make that. Okay, I think I see some coins here. Yep, and the radar just popped up some material, and I think it's talking about that thing out there in the middle of the lake. Now, I could try to spend some time and make a amphibious vehicle that can go out there and pick it up, but I don't know if I have enough time to build one right away and then make a video of it. I think we'll just uh, worry about that some other time. All right, we're going to do a quick test here, see if I can use the pincers to actually pick up this explosive material. Now, it looks like I'm just at the right height to grab this thing with the pin. There's no way I'm going to be able to throw this in the back of the bed since this thing just kind of just drops stuff. I think this stuff is normally really sensitive. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> wow. I mean, at least I didn't die. 
<laughs> okay, I forgot to hit record, but you wouldn't believe this. I, I picked this thing up. So we're going to see if I can take it back without it blowing up. Oh. Ooh, hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's see uh, what else is there around the area. All right, so I just added the diesel engine to the new Frogger car. I also added some boost because I was trying to cross the river, but it didn't work. Uh, I couldn't find any more scrap, so I think the next direction is to hit this ramp that I just found. And hopefully the Frogger car can make it. Oh my god, no! 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 God. Oh, crap! Alright, we're getting... We're getting the speed. Getting the speed, baby. Gotta go around this dangerous cliff here. We're at a hundred. Oh, shoot. Oh, I'm losing speed now. Oh, I just gotta maintain like a hundred. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, maker. Hey, maker. Oh, baby. Oh, still, still got it. Still got it. Oh, my God. We made it. Still counts. Oh, Slim Will. Oh. Kind of boring. Okay, what is that? Alright, let's jump over here and see. Ah! Well, darn. Come on, baby. That's gonna buff out. Oh, what is that? Okay, so just looking at the distance here, I may not be able to reach. I don't think I'm gonna make a bigger crane, so we'll just ram that sucker off. All right, going back to the OG Frogger. Let's see. <laughs> oh, shoot! Ah! All right, let's give this a couple of shots. Oh, crap. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, what the heck? Okay, we'll just push this sucker off. I'm not sure if it's better than the tractor tires, but... Oh, shoot, am I not strong enough? Come on. Jesus! Shit. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on, Joker boy. There we go. Alright, let's take a look at these wheels, see if they're any good. Okay, let's widen the wheels a little bit. I don't know, it feels kind of the samey. Not as good. I think a good way to end this video is to actually pick up this one last explosive piece here. Oh, what is that? Motorcycle wheel. That's tight. Hold on. Am I tall enough? Okay, I think I am. Oh, what the crap? Am I just a little bit? Darn it. Too short. Yeah, baby. Here we go. up. I think I got it. Okay, just lift up a little bit more. <gasps> oh, shit. Hell yeah, baby. Oh, shit. Can't believe this thing can hold it. Uh -oh, oh, oh, don't go too fast. Come on. Ooh, hell yeah, man. All right, I think I'm going to end off the video with that. Uh, went ahead and got a couple of upgrades today. Got a new engine. I went ahead and decided to switch the Hercules Beetle uh, truck to just the truck tires because it does have better maneuverability and it does move slightly faster. So I think it's kind of neat. The heavy duty one, though, the... Uh, I think... I don't, I'm not exactly sure. What name did I keep coming up with this name? I, 
whatever, I keep changing it. But I'm going to leave it as the big monster truck tires since it has a better grip. And it just kind of fits with its theme, its theme a little bit. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll find some bigger tires if there is any. I'm not, I can't remember if there is. But, anyway, thanks for watching. I think uh, next time we'll try to find a new area. I know eventually we're going to have to go to that volcano in the distance. And I think I'm just going to struggle with flying vehicles. Oh, yeah. And, the, like, the underwater level. I forgot there's an underwater bit. So, Anyway, tune in next time, and uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Bye!